breakthrough technology, now making a big difference for kids who are part of a growing trend at Cincinnati's Children Medical Center. And some might say that this could even have you believing in magic. Medical reporter Liz Bonas explains why in our Medical Edge. Ava is just eight years old, and every few months she comes into this special clinic so a team of spine experts can help her grow, literally. You see, Ava has what's called early onset scoliosis, or curvature of the spine. To fix it, in the past, doctors have had to fuse the spine or do several surgeries. Now, a rod like this one you see here can be inserted into her spine instead. These rods are also used in limbs, such as arms and legs, to help them grow when they need it. It's something that's called a, a magic rod or a magnetic rod. So that's a rod that has a magnet built into the rod itself. And then when we put the rod in, um, we can lengthen it just by putting a magnet on the skin and lengthening the rod out. Here's a picture of that magnet that gets placed on the skin. Dr. Peter Sturm told me it's still a learning curve, you might say, to know when to grow the magic rods in kids with spine difficulties. But he has kids such as Ava come back to a clinic for extension about every three months. We're still trying to figure out the best way to do the lengthening schedule to most closely mimic normal growth. He points out that while we have treatments and have made major progress in adolescents with scoliosis, this is a big breakthrough for younger children. It is especially hard for them as they need to grow and have their lungs expand and be able to breathe. We don't do a fusion, we put the rods in and hopefully over time we can not only control their curves but get their chests bigger and improve their pulmonary function. The rods and growth can be evaluated through ultrasounds on the spine each time Ava returns to clinic. So compared to years ago when repeat spine surgeries were the norm? I mean, this is a huge, huge change. At Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. The rods have only recently been approved for the use in the United States by the Food and Drug Administration, but they've been used in some other countries for years.